Hey guys, Kyle Wilson here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the price and BitBoy has mentioned Omi again, all right? So let's go ahead and just get right into it. All right, first things first, we're at 0 0.00609 and it is looking good on the charts. Obviously there was a huge breakout there and actually I mentioned it on this video and literally was talking about it um, that there was going to be a possible imminent breakout. And so congratulations if you're subbed to the channel, you got this news and hopefully you made a little bit of money there and I'm just holding for long term. I haven't sold a, you know, one single Omi token, but just want to let you guys know that, uh, yeah, I covered this video on September 11th and was looking for, basically was just saying that there could be a catalyst coming soon right around the corner that could match up with this technical analysis. And as a matter of fact, we did, we heard, we saw coin bureau mention Omi in the article, literally an entire article outlined how to buy it, how to get, um, inside of the ecosystem, why it's a good idea to invest in OMI and everything like that. So very good, well done article by Coin Bureau. So shout out to them. They did a really good job on the article. Then of course we had Andre uh, mention OMI, uh, although as it appears, it looks like it's negative. It's actually positive in my opinion. All of his investments are basically very super conservative and he's just one of those financial like super conservative guys um and uh, he considered omi token more of a, a risk and that's fine with me it's in the news and any news is good news in my opinion well in, when it comes to this um not all news in my opinion but i don't know there's a balance right anyways then we had anthony um uh, Tom and Anthony on the video on Tom Ballou's channel um, talk about Vivi as well and he, Tom was mentioning a lot of positive uh, talk on Vivi vaults and how amazing it is they have Marvel DC and a lot of different uh, brands obviously Tom has a huge following on his social media account so I just wanted to point that out um, so yeah, back to the chart real quick before we get to BitBoy is that essentially, you know, obviously this definitely had a catalyst, right? We talked about that on September 11th in the video that there could be some news and there was, and it pushed the price all the way and all the way up to 0 0.006 on the chart. And it is basically above that right now. We'll see if it holds around that round price. If it does, I could see it going to the next level. I think we got more room to run here considering we ran back here in the past to one cent. So I could definitely see that happening again and maybe uh, maybe not in the next couple days, but I could see a, a few scenarios playing out. Now that we're in a new price channel once again, I could see this uh, playing out similarly to what we saw on this end right here, except this was in a downward you know, movement. I could see the pushing up to the upward side um, in a similar pattern like this in a nutshell. But we will, you know, time will tell. I don't think we'll necessarily get a solid pumpage like we did before. That would obviously be pretty sweet, but I'm not sure if it will play out that way. I just think, yes, we do have a, some more room to run, but I don't know if it'll necessarily just go parabolic. Uh, I, these patterns are always great for parabolic um, behavior. All right, now, lastly, BitBoy had mentioned Ecomi once again. He was just going through his uh coin news essentially looking at coins that are very notable on his radar and we'll just go ahead and play the clip uh continue to make moves um omi ecomi uh up at number 88 harmony and near protocol so that's pretty much all he said but i think that's actually great news because obviously he has a huge following but it also shows he's actively following the omi token and it's back up there he's probably holding a pretty solid bag i would imagine and you know obviously he's into crypto he knows in my opinion he's got a little bit more knowledge you know risk versus reward type stuff uh versus andre andre is a great dude i haven't watched his channel at all but he seems like he's got a solid head on him he just makes different kinds of investments not so much on the crypto side right but bitboy does and you know for those of you in crypto you know this ob is like a no-brainer for most people especially 
you know, getting in in the early days. And there was a lot of obviously huge news in the recent AMA when they talked about, you know, land buying. And basically if you buy, buy you have to buy uh, land with OMI and that OMI will be removed from circulation. And it, we don't know how much the land's gonna cost yet, but I would imagine it would be, you know, it will burn off a, a good deal of amount of OMI is what I'm hoping for. But that all that news culminated and is pushing the price up in the upward position. All we need now is to be on immutable and then obviously it'll take a little bit, a little while to get on open C. And then of course the land sale and the MTL, there's a lot of good recipes going on. The MTL, I think, will mainly affect more on the NFT side. Um, I think, at, you know, the more and more news and attention we get on the OMI token, the more people get hyped and excited. I'm keeping track of the amount of wallet holders there are. And the other day, I think there's 139K uh, wallet holders. We may have broken past that. I'll have to double check uh, again. We'll take a look at it and see. Yep, yeah, so we did break through 140K of total holders, which is very cool. And now we're pushing up to the next 150 level. And I imagine that's gonna happen sooner than later. Um, it, it would only take another announcement, especially after Mutable X, they get everything in place. I suspect that there will be a couple more exchanges in place. Um, obviously that's pure speculation, but it's just from being in crypto for so long, this is the type of behavior you see from projects that are expanding. It's, they just get listed on more exchanges, it's a no brainer, right? So I fully suspect that they will add more exchanges after Immutable X because it's a it's a completely different blockchain. So it just makes sense, right? All right, well, that's all I got for this video, guys. And um, you know what to do if you like the video. Let's break through the algorithm. It helps my videos to get seen and the feeds and all that good stuff. So I appreciate you guys for watching. And as always, be like an NFT, be authentic, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.